Hey guys, so this is a little bit different today. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can even video how this is. And so I'm gonna line stuff up. Now, you know I use the clack shack jig. In this case, I can't use that jig really at all. And so I, I just wanna show you how I line stuff up because it always seems like that's a real common question on some of the, uh, the forums or the Facebook page. Uh, you know, so uh, I'm gonna show you how I do that. Now, what I'm doing today is kind of a special project. This is actually a container for uh, someone's ashes, a loved one's ashes. Uh, the lid is what I've got in the machine right now. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have to uh, put this up on stilts in order to get the ends there. And uh, it's gonna be interesting in that regard. But I wanna show you how I line things up. So first thing in, in Lightburn here is I've got my design that they want on the lid. And uh, so what I've done is I've added just, again, a little uh, 0.1 inch by 0.1 inch, tenth of an inch dot in the center, and I put that on a, on a different layer, okay? So I put that on a different layer than the rest of the engraving. So it's on its own layer. And then uh, we're gonna move the camera here, and I'm gonna see if you can, see if we'll be able to video how I've got this here. So let's try that out. Now I've had to remove my enclosure, and the reason I had to do that was, as you saw, I'm gonna have to put this way up on stilts, so you can also see I've kind of got my exhaust kind of sitting there over the top. It's not going to be ideal, honestly. So let's get that camera down there. So now what I'm doing to square this up, since this is engraving, I'm, I'm very unlikely to have to go over it twice or anything. I'm not too worried about my absolute uh, coordinates. So the way I'm squaring this up, you can see on the, on the uh, piece here, I've got a little dot marked on the exact center of the piece. And then I'm taking my, my rule here and I'm measuring off the frame and I'm squaring up that bottom edge. So it looks like, and I'm just picking a, a measurement at random. I'm gonna pick uh, 10 centimeters on each end here. And I'm just using, there we go, that looks good. 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. You know, I think I might actually put some, one of my shelf liners down here just to... Okay, we're back here. I, I put uh, basically a shelf liner in there and that's holding things nice and steady so they don't slide around quite so easy. And uh, here we go. So I'm just measuring from, again, I'm, I'm putting the end of, the, of this steel rule against the frame. Since we know that this uh, travels square to the frame, your uh, laser head travels square to the frame. So that's 10 millimeters and 10 millimeters. So we're square with the board here. Now what I'm going to do is in light burn, I'm going to turn off all the layers except for that little tiny dot. Okay. And I'm gonna to go to my laser and I'm gonna go home first. And I'm gonna frame. So I'm a little bit off my dot there. Now I'm just gonna move this over. And down. And over just a tiny bit more. Down just a little bit. So I'll frame this a couple times until I'm just over that dot that I marked in the center of the board. Probably can't see that from that angle over just a little more. This takes just a few times. Boy, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. So now in light burn, I'm gonna turn off that dot. The layer with that dot in it. And I'm gonna turn on my main layer, which is that, so that's got all my words and the uh, graphic that they want on there. And I'm gonna go back to laser and now I'm gonna hit frame again and it should be pretty well centered. And that looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna do that one more time, pay a little more close attention. By golly, that looks pretty good, pretty good. So my, my uh, 
field extraction isn't quite ideal here, uh, but you know, it's improvised with what I got. I do have another exhaust fan in the building, but I don't want to turn it on because it's cold in Nebraska. I don't want to lose all my heat, uh, but I might end up doing that anyway. We'll see how much we get out of this guy. Uh, now the other thing I can do is I can go to my cuts layers and on my screen here in the, in the uh, tool line, I've put the outline of the board roughly. It's not maybe, maybe not quite exactly the uh, uh, exact measurements, but I'm gonna go ahead and just for kicks, I'm gonna frame that too. Okay, now I'm gonna frame, this should go to the outside of the board. Let's just see what happens here. Just barely touch the board on the sides. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call that good. That's really good. This board isn't quite square. The uh, fellow that made it, he's the uh, uh, nephew of the man whose uh, ashes will be in here. And he says, I really want to learn woodworking. <laughs> he says, I'm kind of glad this is going to get buried <laughs> because it isn't quite perfect. So, okay, now I'm going to turn on my uh, layer that I want to engrave. Okay, and we're going to hit start. Wearing my glasses because I don't have my enclosure. Okay, so we got her all done here, and that's what it looks like. It's all squared up to the board, looks good. And uh, it's interesting on sometimes on wood, how, depending on how they sanded it and everything else, how that'll change the engraving across the piece. But uh, anyway, there we go. That's that's what you end up with sometimes with natural wood. So uh, there, there we go. Looks good. So that's how you line it up when you aren't able to use a, a frame or how I line it up. If there's a better way, let me know in the comments. And uh, now it'll be the fun part where I got to put this guy on stilts and uh, do the rest of this boxer, all four sides. So five sides basically with the lid. So this is going to be fun. Not. <laughs> anyway, till next time, be well, do good work. I'll see you down there. Hey guys, this is your bonus footage. We'll see if this works out. Uh, as far as the videoing of it, but another way you can square up on your workpiece. Now this will only work if it's a square workpiece. If it's a irregular, irregularly shaped, say that 10 times fast. If it's irregularly shaped, this might not work, but uh, your, your rail here is square, right? So I'm going to take two pieces of, this is just some half inch ply, and I'm going to put it here. See if I can bow down enough to where we can see this. I'm gonna hold those there, and then I'm just gonna slide this forward until they both hit. Down just a little more. Okay, there we go. I just moved the box. So I used these square against the rail, and then I used them to push the box until it was square with the workpiece. So these are now square to each other. So now it's just a matter of, there we go, kisses them just right. So now it's just a matter of, again, lining up on that dot that I put there in the middle of the board. So we'll see if that footage turned out. So there's your bonus footage. See you next time. Be well, do good work, and I'll see you down the road. Dance, you crazy monkey, dance!